Thank you, Rich. Thank you to the, the legislature and thank you to all the residents of New Hyde Park and Nassau County uh, for supporting all of us in law enforcement. Uh, we're a little bit different in corrections. I, I say this a lot of times when I get up and speak because we're, we're cousins of the police department, but it's a different job. Um, what's unique about our end of the, of the criminal justice system is that we see what goes on at the end. We see criminals every day, criminals, dangerous criminals that commit heinous crimes against the residents of Nassau County in New York State being released from jail every day. This was a concerted effort This has been a concerted effort for the last several years by the radicals in, in government in New York State that have a anti-law enforcement, pro-criminal agenda. And some people think I'm nuts when I say that, that anybody could actually have a pro-criminal agenda. But when you look at what's going on day to day, there was a guy that was just paroled for a, a gruesome rape and murder in, after 30 years in prison up in, uh, up in Great Neck, who was deemed by a New York State judge to be a violent, sexual predator but yet was let out by Cuomo's uh, parole board while that girl is still dead is a disgrace to every resident in Nassau County. Since December of last year, the jail inmate population has decreased by half. Half. This is after bail reform where all of the alleged lesser criminals were let out, the DWIs and things like that, which was a misnomer in the first place because people that were let out were people that were committing burglaries in Nassau County, sex crimes in Nassau County, assault, firearms charges, gang members, all kinds of drug, uh, heavy duty A, B, and C felony drug charges. Now the ones that are left after bail reform are still being let out every day. There is nobody being remanded at, at arraignment court. They had, uh, we'll have to look at the statistics. I saw some stuff yesterday that there was uh, about 3,500, I wanna say, people have been arrested in Nassau County. Well over 3,000 of them were released at arraignment court back onto the streets after committing some terrible crimes in Nassau County. This is a 100% anti-law enforcement, pro-criminal agenda that is going on in New York State right now. And defund the police is a joke because defund the police take, say in New York City, a billion dollars from the police budget and we're gonna put it into our communities. That's absolute nonsense. I've had, uh, given seminars and things like that about bail reform in the, in the beginning of this year where they're talking about letting people out into the street. They shouldn't be holding people in jail. They're not putting people in drug programs. They're not putting people in, in uh, different types of programs to help them or, or, or psychiatric programs. It's just release them. There's, there's not going to be any safety net for these people that are let out of jail or, or, uh, or you know, awaiting their crimes. It's absolute nonsense. There's two different things at, in, uh, at work here. There is a just cut the police budget and there's a pro criminal agenda that's at work here. I could talk for hours about this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my, my, uh, my chops broken about this because I could go on forever. But it's absolutely infuriating what goes on here because to say we're gonna let these people out, they belong back in the communities without a safety net, without programs, without protecting the, the residents of Nassau County, New York City, New York State, is an absolute disgrace. The people of New York State, the residents, the taxpayers, have to speak up. It can't just be coming from those of us in law enforcement. People have to voice their opinions, not be, be afraid to be labeled as something or, or whatever. The majority, the silent majority has to speak up because everyone's lives are endangered, not just the police. Thank you very much.